Now let's discuss about the specific heat of solids. For a solid, for a solid during its vibration, it kin its kinetic energy is converted into potential energy. Similarly, the potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. So there is always transfer of energy or the change of energy from kinetic to potential and potential to kinetic energy. And which means the average kinetic energy of a molecule of oh, oh, average kinetic energy of a molecule of solid is equal to average potential energy of molecule of solid. But you know the kinetic energy the molecule can vibrate in x direction, y direction, also in z direction. So this has 3 degrees of freedom, f equal to 3. Similarly, the potential energy also has 3 degrees of freedom. So let's say the total average, average let's say total energy associated with a solid E equal to you can say Ek plus Ep which is equal to since there are 3 degrees of freedom you have to multiply it with 3 because energy associated with a degree of freedom is equal to half Kb into T and here also there will be for a y direction also half Kb T also in x direction equal to half KBT because we already studied according to law of equipartition of energy, energy associated with a degree of freedom equal to half KBT. So since there are 3, you have to multiply it with 3, half KB into T. Plus this is EK and similarly EP is also, there are 3 degrees of freedom, 3 into half KB into T, which is equal to 3 by 2 KBT plus 3 by 2 kbt that is equal to 2 into 3 by 2 kbt which is equal to 3 kb into t now for one mole of solid one mole of solid in order to get the total energy you have to multiply this with avogadro number that is and the total energy will be the internal energy associated with the solid. So 3 kb into T into Na. So that's the total energy. But you know kb into Na that's my, that means Boltzmann's constant into Avogadro number is the universal gas constant. So this is equal to 3 RT. Now in order to find the molar specific heat capacity at constant volume that is Cv, molar specific heat at constant volume, the equation will be the derivative of internal energy with respect to temperature. That is d by dt of u is equal to 3rt. 3 and r are constants, so 3r into d by dt of t, which is equal to 3r which means molar specific heat capacity at constant volume of a solid is three times the universal gas constant. And this is called Dulong and Petit's law. Dulong and Petit's law. And this statement Cv equal to 3R is called the Dulong and Petit's law.